in the grand scheme of things, football probably doesn't matter all that much right now. But it is a multi-billion dollar business, and the echoes of war can be heard far beyond the borders of Ukraine. This is the Gazprom Arena, also known as the Krestovsky Stadium in St. Petersburg. It's due to host the final of this year's Champions League, but in light of recent events, that now looks unlikely to say the least. The people who run this sport are shocked as everyone else by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. FIFA expresses hope for a, a rapid cessation of hostilities and for peace in uh, Ukraine. Europe's governing body, UEFA, holds an emergency meeting on Friday and it's widely expected they'll relocate the final, perhaps to Wembley. A move that seemed inevitable to the British government even before the war began. I think it's inconceivable that major international uh, football uh, tournaments uh, can take place uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Russia after, uh, as I say, the invasion of a sovereign country. And it's not just the Champions League. The Polish, Swedish and Czech football associations have written to FIFA unhappy at the prospect of playing matches in Russia. As always, football remains the most important of the unimportant things. Tim Orman. BBC News.